GPS or Global Positioning System was created by the US military and currently maintained and operated by the US Air Force. Their main website is gps.gov and if you go there you can find a great deal about this system, how it was created and rolled out to the public. When you go to the US Air Force website, the first page is a cartoon image of a satellite. This is really telling. Uh, it's quite funny to be honest. There are no hard evidence for the existence of satellites. It's the military's word against cartoon CGI images and brainwashing the public. To fully understand the GPS system, you have to do some research of your own. Find out what internet protocols are and how, it, how they are used. Research communications protocols such as X26, how it's used to connect your computer device or your mobile device to the internet. Research what Wi-Fi is. For example, if you go to McDonald's and they give they have free Wi-Fi access, it's not magic. There are processes and procedures put in place so that your device is connected to their network. Research what the Lorand system is or was and its upgrade. GPS is basically a transmitter receiver technology. It's very similar or same as radio wave frequencies such as FM, AM, shortwave, which you've all you've all uh, already heard of. Research UTM or Universal Transverse Mercator and how that's used. It's basically a mapping grid system that is used by the military. On the gps.gov website, they basically tell you how GPS works. It says GPS only gives you the blue dot. It does not provide the map. It also says GPS satellites are simply beacons like lighthouses that a device uses to calculate its own latitude and longitude. The satellites do not transmit any mapping information. So basically what's happening is uh, the cell tower transmits your location, your location of your device and then the, the mapping companies such as Google, Garmin, TomTom use their CGI mapping software and that's basically what GPS device is. They even list the, uh, the map makers these companies get licensed from the MOD and they use their own software which is basically CGI. Companies such as Google, Waze, Uber, TomTom, Garmin, Apple Maps, etc. etc. On the How GPS Works page they have unashamedly put a cartoon picture of satellites in the sky and antennas pointing at the sky and a rocket taking off. All these are false representation. 
and on their GPS accuracy page they have a couple of diagrams which are very telling. The first one has four satellites in the sky pointing to one point in the on the ground and what you see there can also be replicate, replicated by a cell tower and this is just a degradation of the of the signal from the cell tower and the second picture shows how buildings can block signals and how somebody can get a reflected signal again this can be demonstrated simply by cell towers on the multimedia section there is a section uh, entitled trial iteration exercise this is ba basically for school children to do a simple experiment and further down the the page there's a sentence which is absolutely astounding it says quote we will be using a flat mat and string when in reality the earth is round and the satellites are in the sky not on the ground why on earth would they even put that there is that the truth is it the other way around have they flipped it well you decide gps should be renamed ground positioning system because there is absolutely no hard evidence for satellites or even space technology all we see are rockets going up and then a CGI movie being presented as outer space I hope people all over the world just wake up and smell the coffee Thanks very much for uh, watching. Thank you.